Howdy, Jason here, and today on the quick video, I'm gonna give you a little garage mechanics tip on how I finished up the serpentine belt system on this 95 Mustang 5 liter V8 that's going in old large Marge here. Now, what I ended up doing was just replacing most of the components here. We got a stock steering pump, we got an aftermarket 150 amp alternator, and a stock replacement air conditioning compressor here. And the only thing I really did was remove and cut the bracket where the original smog pump went. Now, what I want to do is show you how I'm going to set up and get the final serpentine belt routing for this. Now, what I do is I take a string and I go ahead and I route the belt in the direction and on, around the pulleys in the way that I think it should be. And I'll give it a quick tie up there like that. And you just want to make sure that all of your accessories are going to be turning the proper direction. So all of my auxiliary accessories, my alternator, my power steering pump, and my air conditioning compressor will want to turn clockwise as well. So you just watch, and so if you can just picture arrows, the crank is going to turn this way. So that means that the belt running up over this tensioner here will run up, turn the alternator the right direction, the power steering pump the right direction, that the right direction, and then on this particular year of Mustang, it has a reverse direction water pump. So that means that the belt will come on up around and then turn the water pump this direction counterclockwise and then back down and everything has a good pull. So that's the routing I want to use. Now it's getting the belt because when you go into an auto parts store and say I need a belt for a 95 Mustang, that no longer applies. So what I ended up doing was taking this string, take a pen and mark that piece of string. You can pull this thing off and I measured from my red marks from end to end and I found that it was 89 and three quarters, very close to 90 inches. So I ended up buying a couple of belts uh, around the, because I wanted to shorten that up to get some tension in there so it could be a half an inch to a full inch shorter to, depending on how much tension you want on that pulley there. So I got a couple of sizes in that general vicinity and what I found, just gotta just wrestle this thing into position here. Okay, it's close there, close there. And to get your pulley into place, you just use a 3 8 inch driver, ratchet driver. Hook that into that hole there. Put some tension on that. Slide that sucker up around. And that's it. Your belt is now done. So in this particular instance, the 89 inch belt was exactly what I wanted. So you now I have more than half the, the tension in the pulley taken up and it looks ready to rock. So now what I'll do is just for fun is let's go ahead and finish off the belts here and put the lower belt in place. Since this is such a wide belt, I'm anticipating a pretty good fight here. Okay, got the upper and lower. Got that in place. We'll just set the screw down into position to add tension to this thing. All right, and there you go. And that will adjust and keep the belt for the supercharger tight and ready to rock. So there you go, that's it. The accessory drive system is done on the Mustang as well. And this is just a fun little side video. Let me know if you think that these are a good idea to do as I run across these little things that may not be just a full blown uh, installer video, but just a little tech tip, I'll keep these up. So until next time, enjoy your drive.